With the first pick, 2019 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Kyler Murray. Last year, Kyler Murray was selected with a first overall pick by the Arizona Cardinals. He went on to have a great season and won Rookie of the Year. But what makes him so special? Why is his appearance in the league so important? He's just a running quarterback. We've seen those before, right? Well, let me tell you why this rookie might have just started a revolution that has been years in the making. Yes, dual threat quarterbacks have been up and coming for a long, long time. But this time, they are here, and they are here to stay. Yes, we have seen quarterbacks who can run before. Actually, when I say dual threat quarterback, the likes of Frank Tarkenton, Steve Young, Randall Cunningham, Michael Big may appear in your mind. But those four are normally considered the best running quarterbacks for one reason. They were generational talents, something like we have never seen before. Frank Tarkenton would spread defenses around with his great scrambling abilities. Steve Young was a great passer but could also run. Some might say that Randall Cunningham was made out of rubber with a cannon for an arm. And Big? Well, he changed the game. Normally he would account for more washing yards than even his running backs. He was a video game player. But they were hugely recognized because they were different. They would break them all. Granted, there were exceptions here and there. Adonis McNabb, Stig McNair, or John Elway were out there. But they were pretty much the only ones extending plays with their legs and making defenses fear not only their arm, but their running abilities. They each dominated their era when it comes to that regard. During their time, the mall, in the other hand, was a Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, a Tom Brady. Tall quarterbacks with good arm strength, insane accuracy, a great mental understanding of the game and good footwork. They were all what we call pocket passers. But here comes the 2010 Heisman winner, Cam Newton. In the 2011 draft, the Carolina Panthers took him first overall. He was definitely a game changer. He even won an MVP and took his team to the Super Bowl. But he opened the door. The team started taking chances on these kind of quarterbacks with late rounds. A Russell Wilson or Dak Prescott is a good example of that. But why late rounds? Well, because for every Wilson, there was an RG3 or a Johnny Manziel who were high rounds that end up failing and becoming busts. At the end of the day, pocket passers were at its peak. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady and Drew Brees were still dominating the league. High profile names like Andrew Locke were still getting picked. So there were still ways to go. But suddenly, last year comes into play. The perfect storm. You get established veterans like Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson being game changers, throwing dimes while also running for a lot of yards. In the meanwhile, a quarterback who was once asked if he could change his position to a receiver, Lamar Jackson, took over the league by storm. The Ravens created an offense around him that would allow him to do both and that helped him destroy defenses in only his second year in the league. You got the best quarterback in the league, Patrick Mahomes, leading his team to the Super Bowl. Now you add a rookie who was doubted for his durability and size going off in his first year. You put that all together and you have two Two MVP runners in Russell Wilson and Lamar Jackson, Jackson winning the prize. You got another dual threat quarterback who was judged before being drafted, winning Rookie of the Year. And you got a young Super Bowl MVP winner in Patrick Mahomes who can do anything in the field. And you add that to the fact that it was the first time that both Drew Brees and Tom Brady took a first round exit in the playoffs. It just meant one thing, the revolution was here. The old reliable mold of pocket passers is getting kicked out. And as we approach the 2020 season, it is clear for me that if you want to belong in the NFL as a quarterback, you have to be able to do way more than just throw the ball. Let's take a quick look about how these kind of quarterbacks impact their offenses. For this, let's go back to the concept of head count. In that video, we explained that in order to know if it would be better for you to run or pass, you need to start by counting how many players you have on offense inside of the box then you will do the same with the defensive players and you will compare the numbers if these two numbers are the same or the defense wins by one a running play will probably be more successful because you will have everyone accounted for also let's not forget that we usually don't block the last player on the back side and this is why we need to subtract one to the defensive players inside of the box in this case we will have a five versus five which means our running back could have a good gain but now if the quarterback will be the one running the ball it would mean that the running back himself could be accounted for 
and use him as a blocker, which would give us an advantage of one. This is known as quarterback plus one. This advantage can be used by running straight up, a gap or zone running play. It can also be used throughout the fake of a handoff, as it will pull at least one defender away from the place we're going to run at, or throughout an option play. We'll focus on reading one specific defensive player and reacting accordingly. In this case, Lamar Jackson is reading the defensive end. If he stays put on his contain, he will hand the ball off. If he crashes down, he's gonna keep it himself and run around him. And last but not least, when it comes to the passing game, they are really good at doing this. They keep their feet moving, they extend the play, and they find the player. Even though they are good at running, they think pass first. And that leads to big plays. Now, take that option away from them, no problem. They'll take a big gain on the ground. Yes, Kyler's skill set and athletic gifts might not be as unique as it used to be in the league. But he is, just like his peers, a game changer. The ultimate mismatch. And believe me, with these quarterbacks, no matter what you do, you're gonna guess wrong. So he might be one among many, but he will be remembered as the sensational rookie who helped bring the revolution home after years of waiting during just his first year in the league.